Hi people, it's Archivist here, and today I have some rather unfortunate news regarding Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, in stark contrast to my previous video in which I praised the game for having a fantastic single player, it's a really huge roster with all these uh, well done characters, and even the classic modes were really great, you know, there were little easter eggs all over the place, just all around a great experience, and I finished the video saying that even without taking into account the online, the game was still worth getting, and even with what I'm going to say about the game, that holds true. If you just get this game with the intention of single player, this game gives you enough. That being said, I simply cannot ignore the experience I'm having with the online right now. It is not very good at all. There are two major problems with online right now, and they're quite simple, but I'll cover them quickly. Number one, is that you can't specify that you will go into particular game modes, you can only select them as a preference. So, for example, uh, there are three modes in quick play, you know, three major modes. You've got 1v1, 2v2, and free for all. And I would argue that someone who is in the mood for a 1v1 is not necessarily in the mood for a free for all. So what that person might do is select that I'd like to prefer to be put into games with 1v1s. But what I and a lot of people are finding is that this preference system is quite poor in that you will be very rarely actually put into the game mode that you want to be put into. Not only is that frustrating for you as a player, because I mean I certainly don't particularly at the moment care for 1v1s because I'm not quite there technically to do them. So I get frustrated when I say, I want to be in a free throw and I'm in a 1v1. Some people who are technical who want to be in a 1v1 but end up in a free throw get annoyed. But it also leads to people immediately leaving games because they're like, well, I just don't want to do this. And I said I didn't want to do it, so why are you making me do it? And they have these harsh penalties for people doing it. And it just feels very strange. Uh, it's not entirely, you know, surprising from Nintendo, if I have to be honest. I remember when I played Splatoon 2 last year and I thought that the multiplayer options were strangely restrictive there where it would keep just two maps in rotation on any given game mode for a, a period of time uh, and then switch over to another two rather than just doing what most games do and switch, you know, go this map, this map, this map, etc. So it's, it's really annoying and I hope they change it but this is something I'm a little bit concerned about because I have a feeling that they very much have it as they wanted so I think this will only change if players generally just come out against it and say look we don't like this this is frustrating it takes away player control and it ultimately forces you to play a game mode that you may not want to play over and over again uh, and then and this is you know by far my biggest problem and for me, it makes the online right now just not a viable option, at least if you have any semblance of a competitive bone in your body, is that the lag is not good at all. I mean, it is the worst lag I've experienced in a AAA game this year, and I think the worst I've experienced from even Nintendo. I mean, Mario Tennis Aces had its problems, uh, but in some ways, it at least when there was lag, it could sometimes compensate for that lag in a way that retained the competitiveness of it even though it was still frustrating but here uh, there are two major problems one is just the game will freeze as it comp you know it tries to compensate for the lag and if it's doing this constantly it gives the impression of a really low frame rate and it just becomes hard to play and a massive contrast to the single player which is just rock solid but then in my opinion absolutely unforgivable is the input lag input lag in any fighter is obviously not good but here it has put me in some unbelievably frustrating scenarios i think the example of where this just became unbelievably frustrating was where i was knocked off the side of a stage and i went to do a jump just at the last minute to recover and i pressed the jump button but just didn't register so I continued to fall down and then I jumped when it was too late and then just died. And it looked ridiculous. You know, to the other players, they must have just thought, why on earth would he do that? You know, he completely missed the recovery. And it's so frustrating because you can't play a fighting game with input lag of sometimes up to a second. 
it just it just ruins the fundamental mechanics of the game. You won't be able to dodge smash attacks. You won't be able to roll effectively or shield. You can't recover, as I noticed the hard way. You won't be able to chase smash balls properly. The whole game will fall apart if input lag continues at this level. It didn't appear to be consistently one second long, but it was never as good as a single player. Okay, fair enough. I can I can accept it will never be quite as good as local play but it was just constantly too far out if i play a game like and i'll use other switch games as a comparison to be fair if i was going to play a game like mario kart i found mario kart to have no issues of input like at all it just isn't a thing in fact mario kart 8 deluxe in my experience at least is a very solid online title at least from a stability point of view Sometimes matches will take a strangely long time to start, but that's kind of not a massive issue. When the match actually goes and you're just racing around the track, it becomes pretty much flawless. And I went into Ultimate thinking it would be something similar, but it, it's completely different. It's, it's really bad. It's horrific. And I think what makes this much worse than if this was just another game with its issues is that I love the fundamental mechanics of this game. I really enjoy it. And so... Having this as a downside is just such a detractor from what is otherwise a fantastic game. Uh, and it is a fantastic game other than the online, to the point where the 90 plus score I think it has on average is still applicable because even without online it is a 9 out of 10 in my opinion. But a solid online mode could have made this like a 9.5 or a 10 out of 10 because it would have made it such a complete experience with a huge longevity. So I just hope that, I do hope slightly that they improve the way in which you get into matches so that you can, even if they keep the preference system, at least have those preferences be more reliable at getting you into the mode you want. But as an absolute number one priority, they've got to fix this lag. Cause it, just, it just doesn't work with the, with the lag right now. It's too much, way too much. And also something that has been pointed out is that this is one of the first major online releases since the introduction of the paid online service for Nintendo. And naively, we like to think that, oh, because it's paid, it will be better. It will be more stable because they'll use that money to invest in infrastructure. Uh, to me, it feels like the opposite. I mean, when it was free, Mario Kart 8 was, as I said previously, a pretty solid experience, you know, on the whole, very good. This is atrocious. So, as always, people, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.